Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Metrics Team's virtual GRC Summit. Uh, in light of um, the current COVID-19 crisis, the theme of uh, this year's summit is performing with integrity, uh, crisis and beyond. So governments um, and other organizations are constantly um, seeking um, options from uh, risk management, operational resilience, technology and innovation, right? primarily to see how they can mitigate the current COVID-19 crisis and um, become stronger for the future. Um, so basically acting with integrity and uh, knowing the policies and awareness uh, creates a risk awareness culture and uh, basically uh, that's going to be the new norm for the businesses. Uh, for the next 15 minutes or so, primarily we are going to talk about uh, how uh, to harness the power of reporting to enable decision making at all organization levels. Uh, so I take this opportunity to introduce two of my panelists. Uh, first one is Jana Falkenstein. Uh, Jana is a senior manager with the KPMG Canada's Risk Consulting Group. And Jana has um, led a lot of uh, risk transformation programs, uh, large scale uh, implementation programs. Welcome Jana to the panel. Um, the second panelist is uh, Rahul Maheshwari. Uh, Rahul is a metrics team veteran and he has been here for long duration and um, Rahul manages the global professional services for metrics team based uh, Europe. Rahul, uh, welcome to the panel. Um, Yana, from your risk and technology consulting perspective, right? so uh, can you share some experience on what a good report requirements looks like? or some examples of how a report can solve some of the problems that we have seen uh, from customers. Over to you, Yana. Thank you, Nanda, and thank you for having me. We work with a diverse group of clients across a number of different industries, both big, medium, and small. Um, but are all, all of these are all our clients are contemplating and navigating the complexities associated with what it means to define an appropriate and comprehensive risk reporting capability. Uh, risk is a strategic initiative that taps into and impacts all areas of the organization, starting at the top with the board and executives to business units and functions typically spanning uh, globally. With the risk reporting capabilities, uh, risk reporting capabilities need to be adaptive to accommodate the centralized, <clears throat> uh, centralized, decentralized, and hybrid governance structures. Um, also, we organizations are looking for integrated and comprehensive data aggregation reporting capabilities to bring insight on emerging risks to make risk to risk intelligent. Uh, decisions related to resources, investments, um, budgets, and of course, to, tr to drive change. Um, and these solutions are truly need to stand the test of, of time. Uh, also, more and more clients are asking questions related to what is and how do we build risk analytic engines and how do we actually quantify risks. More specifically, the board is seeking to drive the decision making, help establish a risk strategy and an appetite and maintain that oversight for the enterprise risk leads across business functions. Accurate and complete risk metrics drive the decisions, ensuring risk related activities are targeted and appropriate with the expectation that there is one version of the truth that otherwise siloed businesses are working seamlessly together. Finally, local teams with business ownership are relying on reports for early identification and need to be able to escalate risk and manage day to day risks, identifying opportunities and threats, thereby adding value up the chain. Um, this all without saying that reporting structures and capabilities truly need to stand the test of time. Thanks, Jenna. Uh, I think uh, these are wonderful insights. I think you've touched upon some of the critical aspects of a good reporting, right? Uh, in terms of how risk analytics, uh, which adds value, right? I think that's the very critical component and also um, provided deep insights on how we can enable organizations uh, to harness the power of reporting to make decision making um, easier. And actually more important is a swift and actual decisions. So I think I'll turn to Rahul 
Rahul, I know you have been involved in a lot of pre-sales along with uh, implementations, right? So primarily, why don't you share um, your thoughts uh, on where, uh, how a report uh, could solve some of the problems and what we have seen on the field, uh, more from a pre-sales as well as uh, the implementation dimensions. Over to you, Rahul. Thanks, Nanda, for having me here. And uh, thanks, Yana, for your comments. Uh, I agree that uh, organizations are preparing comprehensive risk reports by distilling information from different groups across uh, the three line of defense. Uh, we have personally worked with, at least I have personally worked with a number of companies where they take more than a month or 200 plus FT hours to prepare the report uh, for the board. But in Today's situation and the COVID situation we are in, officials across the globe are looking for real-time information, statistical modeling, and real-time information uh, to make decisions of, on the policy as well as managing the risk. So in terms of that, efficiency, effectiveness, and agility is critical. How we can make the process more effective, how we can harmonize the controls, how we can react quickly to the operational risk situation. Agility and responsiveness is the need of the hour in current business dynamics. Uh, so the reporting plays a critical role in that aspect. If we are taking long times to develop the reports, then we can't be agile. Then things will fall through the cracks and we will not be able to uh, react to the situation in real time. So in my view, in a uh, few things to consider while looking for the reporting point of view, uh, the data has to be real time. It has to be, it can't be in the emails, it can't be in the documents or hidden files. The data should be available for real-time aggregation. When we talk about aggregation, aggregation of data from multiple sources across the organizations. So whether it's a different group, business unit, legal entities and projects, and ability to provide a top line view that uh, uh, where the executives can make the decision and also ability to drill down information to the lowest level of transactional data if you need more information. Apart from that, uh, the ability to see the key risk indicators in real time, those can be monitored so that quick action can be taken. Uh, the other view is the 360 degree view. Not every organization is going to look at data from one dimension. So what we are seeing more and more is that organization want to slice and dice data from process, risk, control, legal entity, function, or every different aspect to look at the data. So that's, that's another critical view. One thing we, as we are uh, working with a lot of clients, what we see is the from the end user point of view, there should be a quick access uh, for creating the reports on demand. So there should be easy access for the users to create new reports, uh, easy access to a report wizard where they can create reports and share it with their colleagues and customize the reports as and when needed. So that's another area where we see. Last but not the least, uh, I would say in terms of what we are more and more organizations are looking at integrating with BI tools as well. So uh, there is massive amount of data which is collected in different system, integrating along with GRC and how you slice and dash data. That is also a critical aspect of it. Over to you, Nanda. I think, uh, thanks Rahul. So I think there are really, really critical points that you touched upon, right? The agility and the necessary of data um, and again uh, at uh, swift uh, decision making capabilities so i'll take a um, few minutes to talk about uh, what you talked and summarized so i think from more from an even metric stream perspective right the platform is really really powerful and again uh, when collaborating with the any pi tools uh, the power grows exponentially so as you rightly said right the the reporting information should be available to the uh, board at a very faster pace as we can't keep spending a lot of 50 hours or effort to build reports. So we have seen customers leveraging um, their internal BI investments. It could be Cognos, it could be uh, Power BI, or it could be um, any of their BI tools and uh, leveraging metric stream as their golden source they are always have the ability to consume data and build uh, board level reports uh, to their executives. So I think uh, it's uh, a, a great uh, insights uh, that you guys have provided. And again, uh, Yana, any parting thoughts um, from more around best practices uh, that you have seen in uh, customer implementations? 
Sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. My, my parting thoughts. So when we embark on embark on any risk transformation and engagement, we start by understanding reporting objectives and our audience, you know, sort of what are we seeking to achieve? What is our program mandate and scope? Um, we always embed some basic reporting principles, including supporting different business models, integrating across the three lines of defense to deliver unique outputs for that target audience, um, and connecting the dots across organizational risk needs and emerging needs. All this for the purposes of driving insight related to current risks and their financial impact, future risk profiles, incidents and issues, uh, risk uh, intercon interconnectivity, and of course, customer and supplier onboarding. Our, you know, our role is to advise our clients on how to build a sustainable and automated risk reporting capabilities. I think metric streams data architecture injects that discipline to achieve uh, correlate and manage the day-to-day -day risk related to um, related to the management and uh, ensuring that our clients are making risk intelligent risk intelligent decisions. Um, we also, with our clients, are focused on digital enablement, simplification, automation, and innovation with an agile mindset working with our operational risk management teams to build a dynamic, comprehensive, integrated risk engine that our board and executives um, can leverage to make really, to make the you know, innovative decisions around risk. Um, again, like any other transformation journey, uh, building a true risk engine um, is, also part, is also part of um, our, transformation journey and, and a critical component. You really summarize well, right? The important aspect is like uh, how risk um, and a very strong reporting culture plays a great role in the transformation journey. Uh, Rahul, any parting thoughts, again, um, best practices that you have seen in field uh, from customers? Sure. Uh, as we talk about in today's world, where the risk is changing and evolving on real time, comprehensive and integrated risk reporting is not nice to have. It's a must have. The board and company executives are looking for a consolidated view of existing emerging risk, operational cybersecurity risk or supply chain risk. In COVID situation, we have seen how the supply chain risk is in play, playing an important role. The organizations are looking at where their supply chain is based and what are the business continuity plans they need to take actions. So they, they all want to focus on how to learn from the uh, attention, uh, they can apply the right level of oversight and quick decision making from the reporting point of view. Integrated reporting not only will protect the organization and advise the management and the board of the current issues, what are the threats, upcoming threats, and as well as it's the opportunity as well in the current scenario, we are seeing there is a opportunity for a lot of organizations to uh, change their business model or work differently. How we are working differently in today's world, uh, connecting everybody through the video conferencing. So quick decision making from all the reporting, the data is coming in real time. Also at the last, it is also develops uh, insight to fuel the strategy and the growth of the organization. So in my view, Yes, integrated reporting is the need of the hour and uh, real-time reporting from the agility point of view, it's critical. Thanks Rahul. I think uh, these are wonderful uh, points again, right? So we touched upon uh, multiple facets. Um, we talked about different risks. Uh, again, cyber is of, uh, gaining a lot of momentum now with a lot of digitization and disruption happening, right? So uh, I think uh, I take a couple minutes to summarize things. Um, again, um, today's discussion, we talked about um, journeys, like how excellent or a good reporting is the need of the hour and how we need uh, to be agile uh, and provide uh, reporting capabilities to board to make uh, decision-making uh, across all organizations. So again, most important is like, as many of the GRC practitioners, um, we are basically striving to be armed with uh, the latest information all the time. Uh, again, predictive analytics is also playing a lot of uh, a role here because we look at the current situation, right? If we can predict things, 
so uh, reporting um, predictive reporting is again uh, a very critical component of an organization's success um, so uh, there are a lot of advances we have seen uh, with artificial intelligence machine learning and data models or big data analytics right so there are a lot of data getting generated uh, from different sources now we have social media generating so there are risks coming from there so i think uh, the organization should embrace data driven culture uh, primarily uh, to gain significant advantage um, for competitors in order to be uh, successful so i think uh, rahul and yana i really thank your time uh, for today's session and it was really uh, provide a lot of insights in how uh, reporting uh, like harnessing power reporting to enable organizations so thanks everyone and uh, have a good rest of the day thank, thank you. you thank you Anna. thank you thank you good day